Good evening, dear listeners. This is Glorious Life Gospel Radio FM 90.0. I am Pastor Ade Isidore, and by the grace of the Lord, we are on this frequency to be blessed tonight. We have to continue with our lesson on keeping your salvation and blessings from God. Keeping your salvation and blessings from God. Yesterday, we talked about how to overcome one of the enemies we have as we run our Christian race, which is sin. Today, we are going to talk about another enemy of our Christian race, which is Satan, the devil. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening with grateful hearts, thanking you for your wonderful grace that is on us, thanking you for your love and presence, for your power that sustains us. We worship you, we give you glory and honor, because beside you there is none. Without you, Father, we can do nothing. Without you, we will not be on this frequency today. We say receive all the glory, Father, and bless this edition for us tonight. We believe that souls will be saved. Your children who are in the race, the Christian race, will be empowered, will be strengthened, will be fed, O oh God, tonight to be able to overcome the enemies we have on this race. You called us to succeed. You called us to run this race to the end. I pray that by this broadcast tonight, strengthen your children and take them forward as you've always done. We depend on your grace tonight to give us the wisdom we need on this program in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it be a wonderful thing say we day back this evening for continue with our program. Our lesson now, keeping your salvation and blessings from God. When we be become born again so, we be begin the Christian race. We be enter the kingdom of God and we live as Papa God to pick in them. We get salvation and we get blessings from ye. And we be start now race. You know, be being as on one time event. Christianity in a race, a gay time where it start and a gay time where the end, as will be emphasized on yesterday. Now the Christian life that. And as we run this race, we get enemy them, obstacles them. We did the one for stop we, more no make them to the end, more no run this race to the end. But Papa got the will now say may we be strong and we run this race to the end. We'll be read inside Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 say, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Our key statement will be taken from this passage. Now the one way it talks say, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience, the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. From this statement, we see, say, our Christian lives in a race. When we don't become children of the kingdom by the born again experience, we don't start in a race and we get for Ronam unto the end. We will also see inside Second Peter chapter 1 verse 10 say, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. 
He said, make we make our calling and election sure. The call to salvation be given to all human beings. As Jesus be talk, say, Go and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Inside this Mark chapter 16 verse 15, Jesus be talk, say, may they preach the gospel to every creature. We mean, say, the call of God to salvation now for everybody. And then he talk about our election. The Bible talks it will be elected on the basis of Jesus' work. You know, say, when one do election, so we the first of all look at qualification before we elect anybody. Papa God, he elect us on the basis of our acceptance of Jesus. He work on Calvary. So he elect we. And we start the Christian race. So he talks to me, we make this calling and election sure. As we run the Christian race correctly to the end. Race, that's something where when we start them, we don't get for leave them halfway. When we don't start race, the simple objective, Naseme will run and we'll go finish them so that we take our crown. Jesus, he don't save we and he don't promise a lot of blessings for we. He don't give us plenty blessings and uh, we'll not feel lose them. As we don't start, now so we go run to the end, we receive our crown. We deal with Jesus in all eternity. Before we continue, I go like for quickly give our lesson objectives them again so that may everybody be clear about what he will do. From the time we will become on air, we don't get people where they don't be born again of water and of the spirit according to what way our Lord Jesus Christ will be talk inside John chapter 3 verse 5. And how will the apostles they be practice some inside Acts chapter 2, verse 38? We don't get thousands of people across all denominations in Bamenda and beyond. Where they don't get this born again experience, the Acts 2 38 born again experience. And so when they get that experience, they don't begin na the Christian race. And as they be begin, they no go give up. We all, as we begin this race, we get for run am till the end. Now, wait till that way, Papa God, he want am. So, by this lesson series, we de help ourselves for see Christianity as a spiritual race. It be important because some people, they see Christianity as a one-time event. They talk, say, you be one saved forever saved. We are according to them. From the day where you will repeat some prayer, then they declare you born again. That time you will receive salvation and it no matter how you live your life, it no matter which way it happened thereafter, you will not get salvation where it be unconditional and as so you must be saved at Jesus Christ the return. That one a bad doctrine and a doctrine of devil. Christianity in a race. And Bible talks say no be on my way start it the finish. We as we the understand and from this lesson series, we the see say Papa God, you desire, you will now say as we start, may we run to the end. Though the way to eternal life it be narrow, as Jesus be talk, but he also call we say we be more than conquerors because of your strength where they are available for us. We also want for show by this lesson say. As we they run this race, obstacles a day. Jesus no be promised we a smooth journey to eternity. If any form of Christianity tell you say because say you don't become Christian, all things go just day very smooth. You no go give you no temptation. You no go face any challenge. That form of Christianity na Satan he own. Now Satan, they give promises, they say, if you bow to me, I will give you the kingdoms of the world. If you bow to me, I will give you everything. Satan, a like man. Jesus, no be promised we a smooth walk.
to eternity. If it tell we say narrow is the way. We the want for also show practical biblical steps on how to overcome the obstacles away the day on our Christian journey. Yesterday inside the program, we be show how we sin now an obstacle and we show how we by the word of God in us, by the spirit of God in us, by our commitment and love for God, we fit for overcome sin and run the race in holiness and righteousness till Jesus return. Now wait till that we'll be talk yesterday. And today we go to talk about how we the devil, Satan, he been a one of the enemies of our journey to eternity. He been a one of the obstacles. We go to see how we get for also overcome the devil. Yes. As we will see how for overcome sin yesterday, now so we go see how for overcome the devil today. For the lesson way with the statum. As we don't talk, may we go into our program right away. That is the topic way, now the topic of today, particularly. Satan, he being a one of our enemies. Yes, the first enemy of our souls, first enemy of our salvation and blessings from God, now sin. The second enemy, now Satan. The Bible tell we inside First Peter chapter 5 verses 8 and 9 say, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, which resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. The key statement we would take them from here now the one way talk say be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary we mean say your enemy, the person where they fight against you, the devil, as a roaring lion. This one now a statement where he explain the attitude, where he explain the evil, he say as a roaring lion. We know how a lion day it devour the other animals in the jungle, use them for a chop. The devil, as a roaring lion, he the walk about seeking whom to devour. He want for destroy your union with God. He want for destroy your hope of salvation. He want for destroy the assurance where God don't give him of your divine protection and provision. He want for destroy the divine enablement where Papa God he don't give you as he begin. He want for make sure say our salvation and blessings may they be destroyed. It they out now for devourer. Now so the Bible they tell we for here. He talk say be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about. Seeking whom he may devour. Now wait till that way Satan. It go about for do. We go see how Satan did do the work. We go see how Satan did devour people. We go see him. But before we look into that one. We go look at who Satan be. Who be Satan? Satan be na a fallen angel. He be be created as a holy angel originally. But iniquity will be found in ye. It be one for day like Papa God. It be one may they also worship ye. So Papa God, it be moving for the position where be day. And today, the devil, it be the king of a kingdom where the Bible call him, say the kingdom of darkness. So the devil, as it be the come up of heaven, it deceives some angels that they follow ye be reserved in a different kingdom where no be a kingdom of righteousness now a kingdom of unrighteousness where the bible call them say the kingdom of darkness we could read some scriptures then for see witty it be happened before this angel will be first be holy it be then become the devil where the bible describe it say it be the serpent the dragon we read inside jude 
chapter 1, verse 6 say, And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. He took say angels the way they know be keep their first estate. We mean say their first position. Where Papa God be give them for heaven. They don't be removed from their position. They don't be removed from the immediate presence of God. Uh, positions of activities, duties for heaven. They don't be removed among the holy angels. And they don't be reserved in everlasting chains under darkness. Darkness for here. Now a spiritual realm. When now a realm of sin. The realm of opposition to God. A realm of unrighteousness. The devil and ye fallen angels, they follow ye. The day in a spiritual world, a spiritual realm, where the column say the world of darkness. We will also see subsequently how the Bible called that realm of darkness, say, under the earth. Like inside Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11, it talks, say, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. Under the earth for day, it is described now this world of darkness, where the devil, when he be, be removed from heaven, he then go be king for day. Over these wicked other angels, the way they be follow ye, and then their works, now works of darkness, now evil works, now things the way that they oppose the will of God. We also read inside Matthew chapter 12, verse 24 say, But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow doth not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. We did read the passage of scripture now only for establish the fact say, Satan, he been a king of the devils. We mean say, he been a king of the fallen angels. In this case, now Jesus be the cast out devils, then the Pharisees, they begin to accuse him, say, he the walk now by the powers of Beelzebub. They be the accuse Jesus. Beelzebub, now the name where they be the called the Canaanite god, when a Baal. But they will also use this name too, for describe the devil. And so, when they be the talk, say Jesus, they cast out devils by the prince of the devils, when a Beelzebub, they will accuse Jesus and say, he did cast out devils with the power of Satan. But that one, it no be being a true. If you read the whole of that passage, where they deal with that uh, story, for Matthew chapter 12, you go see how Jesus, he be proof for them, say, he did cast out devils now by the Spirit of God. We don't see our point for here clearly. Say, Satan, he being the prince, that is the king of devils. Satan, he did destroy people then. Now by deception and by the people, their lack of self-control. This point be very important too. Satan did destroy people now by deception. He did lie. Life so they fool you, you lose your blessings. Beginning from your salvation, you lost some. And Satan, he did also pass through people their lack of self-control. He caused them for lose their salvation and all the blessings the way that they come from God. I want to repeat myself for this place so that when we go ahead, may understanding they very well. Now, how Satan did take destroy people? Satan did destroy people now by deception, lies telling. And it also destroy people, the past now through that people, their lack of self-control. So it is destroyed by lies telling and by people, their lack of self-control. Okay. We go read some scriptures there for here. Inside 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 5, we read, say, Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, 
that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. Apostle Paul be the teacher about marriage. And he be the talk for husband and wife say, May they give sexual satisfaction to one another so that may they not find themselves in a situation where they be sexually hungry and then for lack of self-control, the devil, he tempt them, destroy them. What do we want for take her out from here? Now the one way Apostle Paul, he exposed one of the strategies of Satan. He talks says Satan, they tempt people now through their lack of self-control. Lack of incontinency, which means a lack of self-control. Now the strategy that way Satan, they use them. Destroying people through their lack of self-control. So would they talk this evening, say, brothers and sisters, the devil, he did look for those areas of your life where you know feel control. And at them way, he go catch them, take them, destroy you. So we get for be self-controlled. We get for be self-controlled. Now wait that way, Apostle Peter, he begin to talk him. Inside First Peter chapter 1 verse 8, he said, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary as a roaring lion is moving about, seeking whom to devour. We get for be careful with witty, with fear say we need them so much. I want to give some examples here. Apostle Paul B. Talk say, I beat my body and put it under subjection so that make and not preach the gospel, they end up a castaway. Why they put your body under subjection? Because if he did try for satisfy himself in everything, the devil would catch you for they destroy your relationship with God and all your blessings the way Papa God gave. He go lose salvation. So Apostle Paul talks say he did beat himself, put her under subjection. Yes. So brothers and sisters, no be everything where your body the one time where you go give. Because devil, they look at those places the way you no know, get self control day. If you get longer for fashion, the devil go trap you all. Now for that very place, and he go catch you, destroy your union with God. If you get longer for money, the Bible talks in at the root of all evil because Satan go trap you for that longer for money. If you get longer for woman or for man picking, you no get self control. With your sexual desires. Now for day where Satan go trap you. We get for get self-control. Bible talks say we get for beat ourselves. Put her under subjection. Like Apostle Paul. Inside Romans chapter 8 verse 13. It talks say if you by the spirit. Do mortify the deeds of the body. You shall live. Now so Bible talk. But if we live according to the flesh. We will die. Brothers and sisters, will they talk the evening now? Say, as we they run the Christian race, the devil they trap we. It be an obstacle. It be an enemy. It they look areas of lack of self-control for catch with it. If we be self-controlled, like Apostle Paul, where the beat itself put her under subjection, put your body and your desires and put her under control, then we go defeat Satan. We go overcome Satan. Bible tell we for Romans chapter 12 say, I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercy of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto the Lord which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Our bodies we give for hand unto God as living sacrifice. In not talk say dead sacrifice na living sacrifice oh. Some people, they, they so they think they are unsaved when you don't become Christian. It means say, some desire they know they rise again. That desire, they still they, they, you still be human being in the flesh. Wait till the Bible talk and I say, put that your body on the altar of sacrifice. Hand them to God. 
No leave that body. May still control you. May that body not tell you how many women the way you get for go find them. May that body not tell you how you get for biting the wearer. May that body not force you into wrong business. May the desires of your body not force you into things the way God in no want them for you. May we put our bodies on the altar of sacrifice. When we talk, say, person, give your life to Christ. It means I say, he also put your body on the altar of sacrifice. Your body, not the rule ye. When we talk body here, we talk now the desires of the flesh. Another way where Satan they use them for destroying people them as we run the race. Now by deception, as we don't first talk, may we read some scriptures. Apostle Paul talk inside Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, say, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Say, may Satan not take advantage of us, because say, we so, we don't know the devices. When you don't know, it means say you not be ignorant again. Knowledge. Satan, they use lack of knowledge. It they use deception. When we lack knowledge, so Satan, they bring in deception. Knowledge, it is counter deception. When you get the knowledge of God, like how King David be talk, said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. When you get the word of God, we give you divine knowledge. And the spirit of God, will they inspire you with divine knowledge. That time, you go the wise Satan whenever he come. Where the one play coniso, play coniso, you catch him. Yes. If one bring in some kind of idea, then for dribble you. Because say you, you get divine wisdom. You catch it. Like how we antivirus. It is catch viruses so inside computer. Apostle Paul, he will still talk to the very Corinthians and say, inside Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14, he say, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. It is still exposed that the strategy of Satan, say it is transformed as an angel of light. Satan no go ever come tell you say this so it be Satan no. When Satan de come, he de put on an image where you go see him so you think say na the best thing that way God he don't give you. Satan go always come as an angel of light. We know the role of angels. Angels that is serve we at God's command. Angels them that they for come give us whatever God he want for give us. Do whatever God wants for do for our lives. Angels that he can give us assistance. That he can release God's blessings to us. The devil they so it incarnate as holy angels. Incarnate as an angel of light. They come so that may you accept it. Now that is deceptive nature that. Satan the lie. Jesus calling for John chapter 8. Say it be a liar and it be a father of liars. You see even Christianity they so. Satan don't change change. From them for Christianity. You see people hold Bible, but they talk na different thing. But they, when the one come for you, you see all the sides for their Bible. Now Satan the incarnate so as an angel of light. You see church denomination the day where Satan don't incarnate through them. Look only their buildings, they find so they, but when a Satan don't incarnate so like angel of light. See them how they wear white garments. You look and check saying a holy people than that. Now Satan don't incarnate as an angel of light. Satan don't fake doctrine. You hear instead of one God, not three person. Instead of people being born again of water and spirit. They tell you, say, repeat prayer, be born again. Instead for people, for live holy in order to see the Lord. They tell you, say, you be one saved, forever saved. And Satan, the ever come like angel of light. You see the kind of image where the devil, they put them up. The kind of false religious system, the way devil stand for back. They get big, big names like mainstream, first church, traditional church. Only name the way the feature make you, you just embrace the thing like that. Brothers and sisters, Satan in nature, not that of deception. He the incarnate as an angel of light. See the way we prophet the plenty in the land today. Can I prophesy?
Can I tell you something? When a certain so, you go get this, you go get that. Huh? Sickness no be your own. You know if he ever die, you know go. Well, yeah. And now so people don't confuse. They think they are unsaying that God did talk for them. When Jesus said, carry your cross and follow me, they tell you, say no, silver and gold, now God he owns, so you picking them get for enjoy them on earth. When Jesus said, carry your cross and follow me, they tell you, say, it shall be well with you in the morning, afternoon and evening. When Jesus said, carry your cross and follow me, Satan can't incarnate through your prophet the way they litter all over the land. They tell you, say, you need for so seed for their life. May they release a blessing for you where you will live a very smooth life on earth. Now, Satan that you nature on a deception. One of the strategies against the children of God as they run the Christian race, not deception. So that why that where Apostle Peter be talk inside first Peter chapter 5, verse 8, say, May we be sober and vigilant. For be sober means say, may you be thoughtful. For be vigilant, it means say, may you be watchful. Be thoughtful and be watchful. Because this certain days will be very, very deceitful. Inside 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3 again, Apostle Paul talks, say, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve, through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Apostle Paul be talking to the church at Corinth again. He tell them, say, it is fear. Say, as Satan, it be deceive Eve. If he come again, can deceive the Christians when they be deaf in the church at Corinth. You know, say, Satan in you know, the tire. Now, why that way we too will not get for tire in the Christian race? The devil, now enemy, he want for cause we for lose our salvation. He want take away our hope of eternal life. He want for take away the assurance of divine enablement on us. He want for take away our blessing of divine provision and divine protection. The devil want for take away these things. Then. So it come in with deception. It pass through our lack of self-control for destroy we. With no way to be doing in the garden of Eden. When it become, come it up if the Bible tell we say, God be done ready to talk for Adam, here yeah, a woman say, may they not chop of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil we stand at the middle of the garden. God be done talk for them. It be done be certain. But Satan come, raise a conversation between ye and Eve. He start begin to talk lie. He say, it did so. Now instead God did lie for Adam, here yeah, and Eve, they hide something there from them. He talk say, if then chop of that tree of knowledge of good and evil, they no go die no nothing. Say instead they go no more things and say that particular tree they so ye taste ha. Say it pass mark. As it talk life for if talk life for if Bible say if too is that langa that tree. As it langa that tree, no you don't go chop. No you don't take and give husband. No they don't disobey Papa God. And the Bible say by their disobedience. All we will be being landed into trouble because Adam here, yeah, if they be being our first papa, then. Now, deception, where Satan be using for day, deception. And when he be bring that deception, if he no be gay self control, because if, if he be control ye langa, he no for chop. Because then where he be desire, he be look that, that fruit, he, he find for I. Then he start begin imagine how we is also good for for chop. Then with that langa be the rice, how we devil don't can spur that langa with lies. If if be control that langa, if you know for land, the whole human race into problem. When we look at Jesus Christ for Matthew chapter four, we see what we were supposed to do for overcome this devil when an enemy of our relationship with God. Enemy of our salvation. Enemy of our blessings. Inside Matthew chapter 4. The Bible tell we say. Jesus be fast for 40 days and 40 nights. And he will be hungry. And he took say the devil. 
Isiam said Jesus don't hungry very well. And he no said Jesus be the first na so that he accomplished divine purpose. So that made Jesus he get to the exalted position where he be born as the Messiah for get day. For be king of kings and lord of lords. The devil in notice him. So he go meet up Jesus now. The Bible tell we say, he bring in the first strategy. He say, if you be the son of God, turn these stones into bread and eat. Who tells that and say, now having bread for chop, it proves a man a bit got to begin. The fact say you be got to begin no means that you don't feel hungry. Go to begin where the hungry, you know, must chop. Satan can't talk, say, if you've been and got to begin, turn these stones into bread and eat. Must a child of God turn stones into bread and eat? Now, who don't first talk, say, child of God must get bread? Now, who don't first talk that one? Now, deception, that way Satan be one bring her in. Secondly, he comes so he pass, he won't pass now through Jesus' hunger. You see? He won't pass now through Jesus' hunger. Now, why that would they talk say when Satan notice any area of need in your life, any area where you don't get self-control for day, now for day they try for attack you. And he don't catch plenty of people destroy him. But we see what way Jesus be do for here. Jesus tells Satan, say, For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. He talks say, Man shall not live by bread alone. I bring the same statement to the children of God as we run this Christian race. You shall not live by bread alone. Bread for day it represent everything where we need them on earth here. Whether na chop, whether na moto, whether na woman or na massa, whether na job, whether na house, whether na traveling abroad, whether na high academic profile, these things are not a must. Any form of Christianity or any prophet will tell you, say, you must get these things. That prophet na liar. Jesus talks, say, a man shall not live by bread alone. I repeat, because some version of Christianity, they were certainly used and plenty. Every day that he prophesy na how you go get this, you go get that. Na langa Christianity, that. Satan, he depict that kind of people, them. Destroy them. Because they no get self-control. They no fit shit on down, discipline themselves. They no fit put themselves under subjection like Apostle Paul. Every day, they day for one prophet in house to another. They go for church when they teach about God, your holiness and righteousness. They sleep. But time when they start prophesy about visa, you see the John woke up. When they go to a church where they teach holiness, they go run. When they talk, say, so so and so prophet, they over there, if they prophesy financial breakthrough, now for day, they don't transfer. We did talk, say Jesus to be overcome the devil. How? Jesus be telling, say, a man must not live by bread alone. Child of God, get the key to your success in the Christian race. When the devil, he come, he want for attack you as you run your Christian race. He start pass through your needs. This old time hammer, where Jesus be hit the devil day. Now the same old time hammer where they work today. Where to be the hammer? A man shall not live by bread alone. You go look at the devil in the face. Ha. Beginning from this night, because when they talk so, the devil they move around like a roaring lion to find somebody for this triumph. You go tell the devil, say, devil, I must not travel abroad. Devil, I must not buy a car. Devil, I must not have a phone. Those things, the way you know them. When the devil they use them for drag you there, like how way they put chain for dog in neck the dragon. Tell devil say you must not have those things and stand your spiritual ground and maintain yourself in the will of God. Brothers and sisters, I talk again. Say those your needs the way they make you you know feel sleep. That need of money where they make you you know feel sleep. Now you where the devil the one use them for attack you. Your victory go come if you woke up. Tell devil say devil, man must not live by money alone. And then you tell it, say, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That one he talk now say, 
We get for live by God's standard. Now God is the rule our lives and not bread, not money, not nice dresses, not traveling here and there, not having the best houses and cars. Now God the rule our lives. What we must live by is the standard of God. We get for overcome Satan like how will Jesus be overcome ye? You know, say the devil be still continue. He say, jump from this pinnacle. He will give his angels charge over thee. Now deception that. Jesus tell the devil say, it is written, no tempt the Lord your God. As we run the Christian race, we no get for the tempt God. God don't give we promises. But we no get for tell God how the promises they get for come. God don't tell we how he go protect we, how he go enable we, how he go heal we, how he go day day whenever we need ye. Now promises then that way God don't give we. But we no go put God inside box. We no go tempt the Lord our God. We no go tell God say God this month you must bless me. God this year you must bless me. We no give God condition. When you tempt the Lord your God you go fall for Satan. Your condition. You know how they talk the thing they saw because some kind of prayer they did the way that the fool people send a breakthrough prayer. They tell you, say me, you start give God condition. Say, God, this year I must fly abroad. God, this year I must marry. God, this year I must be house. Now you tell God, oh, now God, they tell you. <laughs> now you now want open the door for God or you wait may God open you the door. So you know they tempt the Lord your God. Yes, now God be give the promise to the psalmist and to the people of Israel say, I will give my angels charge over thee. May they protect you. Yes, now God be give the promise. But no be we give for tell God how for, for execute the promise. We no give for them they tempt God. So we get for see and hear say the devil be deceptive. When he want pass through our desires then for full we land we into problems Comes we for lose our salvation, may we speak to ye like how we our Lord Jesus Christ we speak. We no get for tempt Papa God. We no get for take your promises, then then put them in our own style. The devil still try for destroy Jesus. He talks, say, bow to me, and I will give you the kingdoms of the world. Now back leading that. When you abandon your God to bow to the devil, oh. You don't jump out of the race. You know only fall now fall. You don't jump out of the race crumble. When you don't bow to the devil. That one it means say your object of worship. The God will create to save you. You don't keep it aside for bow to the devil. Brothers and sisters. The devil he want to destroy our Christian race. By distracting us. May we put our eyes now on ye. Put our confidence now on the devil so that if it forgive you something will be of the earth, but you lose your soul. If it give you something will be temporary, but you lost what will be eternal. The devil, if it give you something where it just be now for a short time of pleasure, but where it take your lasting peace, it take your lasting joy. We get for tell the devil. Say it be written, say we give for serve the Lord. We give for worship the Lord and Him only. We the talk so some people they already worship the devil as Trinitarians. But as you hear this night, turn to the Lord your God and Him only. We get programs there on this frequency where they don't explain the particular teachings, bring up all the aspects of this uh, temptation where the devil will want to destroy Jesus. We don't bring them out on many programs. And we hope, say, when I listen, when I go get them. But for now, inside this lesson, we the talk, say, the devil, the one for destroy your salvation, destroy your blessing from God by asking you for worship he, then he always give offer. When he give offer, turn them down. He offer the come now with the condition, say, may you bow to ye. Turn down the offers of the devil, even if they carry which kind of pleasure. Turn them down. Serve the Lord and Him alone. Papa God, He don't save we. Papa God don't give us the hope of eternal life. Papa God, He don't give us the assurance of divine enablement. 
Papa God, he don't give us assurance of divine provision and protection. Now blessings they did so. Our union with Papa God na big blessing. The hope of eternal life na big blessing. Papa God being there for us, providing for us, healing us and protecting us na big blessing. But Satan no like him. Now ye where ego come by lies telling. Ego come. Passing through areas of our lives where we lack self-control day for ruin our relationship with our God and our blessings. But by this lesson this night, my brothers and sisters, we not be ignorant of certain devices again. We go grow knowledgeable in the word of God. Yes, we go get self-control and we go overcome the devil. We go overcome ye. How will Apostle Peter talk? He said be sober. He said be vigilant so that we overcome the devil. For be sober, it means it may you be thoughtful. For be vigilant, it means it may you be watchful. And we know say, now by the word of God, by the spirit of God, we would be thoughtful. That is divine knowledge and divine wisdom. Would you be vigilant? Now as we watch those areas of need in our lives, with the devil, the one past day, through our lack of self-control for destroy we. We watch those areas then, so that we overcome. We put our desires on the altar of sacrifice. Make these desires that they under control. Make the desire they no push we more fall into the hands and traps of the devil. I want for pray for us. I want for pray for us and this race where Papa God don't put we day. I pray in the name of Jesus. You son and daughter of God, you started this race because you love the Lord. You started this race because you love to live with him in eternity. I pray for you. I pray for you as my brother and sister. May the Lord give you wisdom. May the Lord give you divine knowledge. May the Lord give you grace, spiritual strength to Put the desires of your body under control because you are called a conqueror. You are meant to win this race. You are meant to go through it to the end in the name of Jesus. You have been called and strengthened to climb every mountain in this Christian race and reach the top. You have been called to go through every difficult valley. You have been called to break through every obstacle and make it to the end in the name of Jesus. Your portion is not in the hands of the devil and hell. Your portion is heaven at last. Jesus, we thank you for this wonderful calling and salvation that you have given to us. We will not ignore it, Lord. We will not abandon it. Jesus, we are willing. Lead us, we want to follow. Jesus, we love you. Father, we will not abuse your grace. But we, O oh God will commit ourselves, we will surrender our bodies as living sacrifices unto you which is our reasonable service. We will not live according to the flesh, but we will live according to the spirit. Lord, we say thank you for your sons and daughters out there that your grace is sufficient, O oh God, for them. Thank you for helping them out of sin. Thank you for helping them to say no to the devil. Thank you, O oh Jesus, for being with them through this race. In Jesus' name we pray. Brothers and sisters, our telephone line, they will be open now. And as we call this evening, when you call, get them for your mind. Say some brother, some sister, it is struggle in the Christian race. Talk something where it go help that brother for overcome the devil. The devil be an enemy of our salvation, an enemy of our souls, an enemy of our blessings from God. When you call this evening, talk something where it go help that brother, that sister, where it is struggle in the race, make it overcome the devil. May we run this race to the end. Our two telephone number then, the first one is 677 Seven seven four three nine seven three one six seven seven four three nine seven three one. We also get six nine one zero one eight eight six three 
six nine one zero one eight eight six three. Now the two telephone number that that way you fit for use them this evening for reach we on the program for reach our brethren. Every one of us we would day in the Christian race will strengthen ourselves for overcome this enemy of our salvation and our blessings. From the time we will be born again, we beget salvation, reunion with our God. When a problem will be first get them, being separated from God. But when we will be born again, we will be reunited with our God. We will be reconciled with our God. Now wonderful blessing that. Now salvation that. And from that time, we begin the hope of eternal life. Jesus talked for John 14, say, he did go for prepare a place, and when he don't prepare, go come take us unto himself. So that play we could be, may we be also. Now the hope of eternal life that. New heaven and new earth. Revelation 21. The Lord, he also give us the assurance of divine enablement. Jesus, he be promised, say no go, be away from your church. Your church be your body. And he did look out your body. He give us the assurance of divine provision and protection. Apostle Paul, he talked to the church. Say, my God shall supply your needs according to his riches in glory. We get a caller. Hello? Yeah, good evening. God good evening. bless you. Thank you. Calling from Musang. Ladies, Mbo. Okay, God bless you. Thank you, sir. I just want to appreciate for the great work you are doing there in the studio. Thank you, brother. Yes, and I want for equally for Toxie for us to really overcome the deception of the devil, we must keep working in the renewal of the mind. Yes. Romans 12, 2. Yes. Ask us maybe renewed our mind so that we should be able to know the will of the perfect will of God for our life. Correct. And it is also an aspect it also be one aspect where we should use them for overcome the deception of the devil in yes. our own life. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, brother. We thank brother for that wonderful encouragement. We fit for overcome the devil. And I think it be important for we for emphasize at this point, say, some people, they, they surrender themselves to the devil because they think their own say, you know, if overcome the devil. Somebody will tell me, say, pastor, but you know, say, Satan, he power stronger. He will tell me so now because he don't really give up. You need to see the devil say now, someone way if he overcome him. That one, now already deception and giving up on the race. But when they talk by the word of God, say greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You can overcome the devil. Hello? Brother Samuel, you be welcome to the program. More grace, sir. Thank you. I'd be really glad for the message. Where we defeat our soul with that. Amen. I want to talk like for encourage others. Now say, you know, say in this life we don't decide for follow God. Nobody the woman go to clap for you, say you will follow God. Yes. People they will say they will be again, but make you not be discouraged. For example, if you look in David, time will be going for faith go there. Even in all the other time, when they be there at the battle line, no man will support you. Mm. Yes, it is discouraging. Even King Saul himself be minimized and discourage you too. Yes, but he never give up. Correct. He be stand firm. Now, when he don't get the victory, now all man start clap again for you. Now, so so I encourage our born again Christian brothers and sisters to ask to the same family. Now, say let them know say people they know day for the clap for them or other kind mm -hmm. appreciation them. Mm -hmm. Let them stand firm, no matter the challenge. Yes. God, He will see us through. Amen. And if God be for us, no man can be against us. Amen. More grace, sir. Thank you very much, brother. 
wonderful encouragement. I like how when Jesus be tell his disciples, they say, you will be hated, persecuted, and killed for my name's sake. That one, he prepared them. That one, he fortified them. Say, when they encounter these things, may they know, say, their master be suffered the same things, and if he don't really tell them, say, they go face up. That one, a day in line with wait away, brother Samuel, they talk. Say, we children of God, we get for no say, the devil will not be happy. Say, we be children of God. We get evangelist standing on the line. Good evening, Pastor. Evangelist, you be welcome. Thank you. God bless you for the message. Thank you, sir. Bless me too. Thank you. Through the message of tonight. Amen. We be in line with what we. This is the follow up of what we we preached yesterday. Amen. What we teach yesterday. In fact, we we will be born again children of God, according to Acts two thirty eight. This is coming directly to us. Mm -hmm. As we talk, as we get to understand still. God, you know, hide uh, for tell we who we we enemy. Mm -hmm. God, the enemy, now we enemy. Mm -hmm. Satan, if he be fall up, he be throw you out of heaven, and because he wants to be worshipped, and I think I'm going to tolerate him. Mm -hmm. So as he come for earth, you know, you know, if he directly get God, you know, if he directly hurt God, mm -hmm. he go for if for only hurt, excuse me, for hurt God, he go only pass through human beings, mm -hmm. and who be the human being? And those who they don't be born again according to Acts 2 38. Mm -hmm. Now, this place should be for those who they don't be born again according to Acts 2 38 because that the Bible way or formula that for be born again. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, if we know, say, na so way Satan be, as Papa God don't make me for understand, mm -hmm. I do encourage myself as I do encourage my brothers and sisters who to listen to the program this night. Say, so maybe no, we know, say, as we master. We overcome the devil. Yes. We also get to overcome the devil. Yes. Why? Because more so because we eat the inside we. We are not talking of somebody who is abstract, living somewhere else and we are living somewhere else. The Lord will make provision and say, when we don't be born again, according to Acts 38, it will come now in dwell we. Yes. We do different from those who did confess with their head or with their mouth, believe in their heart, say, Jesus, don't be their savior. And they say, Jesus, don't be their savior. They don't, they don't be born again. Mm -hmm. We're different because Jesus is not in the lives of those people. Mm -hmm. Now, in the hearts of those who they don't be born again, according to Acts 2, 38, Jesus, they dwell. Mm -hmm. So, as we talk, as we come to this, this verse, of, uh, in uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, we talk, say, for all that is in the world, the loss of the flesh, yes. and the loss of the eyes, yes. And uh, the pride of life mm -hmm. is not of the Father, yes, but of the world. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, my clear uh, message for those saying the mean business with God, mm -hmm. because God the mean business with me. Mm -hmm. Imagine the situation where God come for a creation where He is Himself creator with His own hands, and He allow Himself to be manhandled, killed, tortured, killed, and He died. He accuse you of sin, we no commit him. He decides to die simply because of you and me. Then we, we, we cannot afford to take this thing, you know, play with it because it is a matter of life and death. Mm -hmm. So we have to be very careful. I want to encourage that my brother and that my sister would listen and say, Me, I will be one of those who are we entangled in this funny, game, funny life way that they live outside here. Mm -hmm. You see, somebody will say, I'll be a born again. Yet, you see you with girls. When I'm out here, we see with girls. Now we marry, get girlfriend them. I had girlfriends, and I was still calling myself born again, a child of God. But when Jesus touched my life, when I obey Acts two thirty eight, my life changed. Amen. Why? Because Jesus began, he became inside my life. At first, I was just confessing my head with my head with my mouth, like that, and thinking that Jesus is in my life. But I could not overcome the devil. But when Jesus came into my life, he did make me to understand say this so. When I see a woman, that woman not be my wife. Yes. Not be any woman is saying for us to be my wife. Which ties with what you were saying. Not be all things we are saying, my eye, my body will take up. Yes. Yes. And for one of the ways to overcome, I say, I cut off. Eh? Yes. I cut off all links with those friends, those friends that used to make me go, go into sin with them. 
I thought I'm off. I know what die when I cut off a relationship where they think I'm things they be very dear to me. Correct. So if any brother, any sister be entangled, make him make sure say, the choice of your friends will be very, very important. Amen. Maybe it be not even though God wants them. Mm-hmm. It will not be not just anybody. You will see person will talk to you be born again. You will walk out people away and not be born again. They will tell you someone will go for so 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 place. And that place they are going to they are going to commit to. It will not be good. Yes. A child of God. Mm-hmm. The word of God is enough for us. Amen. And look, we understand, we walk with this consciousness that Jesus is the inside way. And I see the inside way, it will lead me to eternity. Yes. We will start on for this ground. That will talk say, for uh, Romans chapter 14, verse 17, say, The kingdom of God is not meat and drink. Yes. But righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Yes. The Holy Ghost is the inside way. That is Jesus in the invisible form he did inside we. Mm-hmm. And now he the guy we he give you the power for overcome the devil. Yes. So somebody confess you now with the mouth. Don't see don't receive you and when I lie. When sin comes, you know what you overcome the, the sin. Because mm-hmm. Jesus is not the inside you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Evangelist Tande, for that wonderful encouragement. Make I read some text messages the way that they hear. This one. It talks say, uh, good evening, man of God. I really thank God for you in our lives. No matter I'm a Muslim, but you made me believe in one and true God. Brother talks say, I have my application file at hand, searching for where to deposit tomorrow. Please pray for me, for your God is holy and trustworthy. Psalms 54. Mohammed Isaku Atuakum. God bless you, brother, and we pray. Say, may the Lord respond to you according to your faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. We get this one from Brother Donald. It's a good evening, Pastor, and more grace. Thank you very much, Brother Donald. We also get this one. It's a hello, Pastor. Good evening. More grace. I have tried to follow the ways of God, but I still end up doing evil things of Satan. When I say I will not wear trousers, earrings, and many others, but I still keep on doing, I really don't know what is wrong with me. Sister, the thing will be wrong with you, now the same thing will be wrong with all of us. The Bible talks say in Adam we die. And it talks to the instincts of good and evil. The day inside we humans, we will be now picking them for Adam. Apostle Paul, he cried inside Romans chapter 7. He said, when he wants to do the will of God, he did see himself doing evil. He did see himself doing the contrary. He cried. He said, who will save me from this body of death? Say, oh, what a wretched man that I am. Just like you, sister. You did talk so. The answer is then in the born again experience. The biblical born again experience. When we be disconnected from Adam by the blood of Jesus and the spirit of God it dwell in us then the word of God it also dwell in us now it give we strength. In our human weakness, we no fit overcome sin and the devil. Now, why that way would they lean on Papa God? Now, why that way would they lean on Papa God? We thank you, sister, because you did listen, you did follow this broadcast. Them, the word of God will they come into you. Now, a factor, now an element, spiritual element, way it go to help you. It don't really show you way to way you get for do. Get the biblical born again experience. Grow in the spirit. Grow in the word of God. Grow within the right fellowship. You go see yourself doing what the way Papa God you want you for doing. Every one of us will be not humans. We be get the same problem. Now Papa God it will help we. God bless you sister. We get this other text. It say hello Isidore. Do you want to tell us that salvation is only in Acts 2.38, a man from Alakuma? 
I think say you did talk based on the elaboration where evangelist Tande he make them. And I be don't talk about who side will we begin our Christian race. On the note of the Acts 238 born again experience. If you not be born again of water and of the spirit, as Jesus talked for John chapter 3, verse 5, you no know fit enter the kingdom of God. Now direct scripture that for you. Apostle Peter, in obeying and practicing which way Jesus be talked for John chapter 3, verse 5, he talks, say, May sinner they repent. May they be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins and they will be filled with the Holy Ghost. And see, when they don't do so, they save themselves from this untoward generation. So, salvation, it will come now when we be born again biblically. According to John chapter 3 verse 5 and Acts chapter 2 verse 38. The person will send the text. He don't send another one as I explain. He talks say you are lying. Since that way you talk say I lie, send we a text way. It is show we how we get for receive salvation biblically. Now the only thing that way we will feel receive and from you. Now where you talk say our experience of John 3 5 and Acts 2 38 for salvation it be wrong. Call or you send text telling we from the Bible how person get for be saved. We did talk now about keeping your salvation and blessings from God. We get Brother Meshi on the line. Good evening, Pastor. Thank you, my brother. I want to thank you so much and I'll be happy to say the radio will be up being here today. Amen. And I think they will give a very lofty topic, though it really can without distract all the Not so. And we thank God say them they are around and we thank God say first the listen. Amen. I should say that through this listening their hearts could be pricked. Not so. But if if it not be of paramount importance, then to the know they show the concern whether they show one. Mm -hmm. So but we only tell them to them go back and look into the scriptures. Correct. Many of us we go back, we we'll go into Christianity because we parents them be did it. How many of we will have to be different? None. I will be one of the. I think the first time you will be talking to me, we get our own differences. But mm -hmm. when I will go back and look into the scripture, yes. if John the Baptist will be initiated baptism, mm -hmm. his disciples will receive a baptized, mm -hmm. then we will be we will, we just can then present with something them. And we just accept them and we no one go deep into it. Mm -hmm. Where well, I thank my brother Emma from Alakuma. They did listen, and if you can quote with some scriptures, then say some other one day, we will we'll hardly, we will we'll gladly attend and then listen to you the way other callers that they call, they talk. So. I think the gospel with your glorious life, gospel with your, not be all about what we just speculate. For me, I think, say, we we'll know the thing, we we'll go deep into the scripture. Amen. Now, a, yes, now a few of this for all we for learn. We we'll get diverse, we don't get Mohammed from Atua I think we'll be very grateful say a person say express he had desire. Say he did listen and he did speak way, we don't get with sister we present your own problem. Now a general challenge for all we the first time during this Christian way. And for today we say truly we feel lost mm -hmm. with salvation if we not be on track. Thank you so much, Pastor. I pray to me continue for giving such. Amen. May it come on often and more great. Thank, Thank you. you very much, my brother, for that wonderful encouragement. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, the person where he talks, say, with a lie, he don't send text, he talks, say, is according to what Jesus said in Matthew 28 19 to 20. Stop leading souls to hell, Isidore. For the first time in your life, you are preaching the genuine gospel. Yesterday and today, God is really answering my prayer. Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 and 20, is state the conversation of Jesus and the apostles. Eleven of them in number, because Judas is carried out, if you don't betray Jesus, if you don't go commit suicide, so he will be there among them. Jesus, after your dead burial and resurrection, 
He come, he give your last words. What call them say the great commission to these eleven apostles. He tell them say, All power in heaven and in earth has been given unto me. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So this commission will be given to the apostles. And the question be say, how these apostles they be understand what the way Jesus be talk? How these apostles they be implement or practice what the way Jesus they be talk? We know we claim say we understand Jesus past the apostles. Now the apostles them write the Bible for us. Now the apostles them teach us about Jesus. And they do them as Jesus be tell them say teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Jesus command the apostles. So how the apostles they obey Jesus instructions in Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 and 20. We see the book of Acts. When they call that book say Acts. Now because they are the actions of the apostles. The practical ministry of the apostles. Now then be pastor the first church we we'll call them say the early church we start in the book of acts the apostles they implement the teachings of jesus the way we were supposed to follow father son and holy spirit no be names of three divine persons father no be name son no be name holy spirit no be name now descriptions of the modes of revelation of the one true god Father means say he be creator. Son, now because he become to be with us, he put on human flesh. Holy Spirit, now because he be a distinguished spirit. We live inside of us. Evil spirits a day around where Satan be the king of devils. But the Holy Spirit, when he come into this domain of humans, where Satan too, he did it with the own demons, the Spirit of God, He come today in us with distinguishing by calling it Holy Spirit. That one no become a third person in the so-called Trinity. Now the invisible presence of God the Father, as Jesus be teach him inside Matthew chapter 10 verse 20. Father means say God our creator, where it day above us as a father. Son means say God with us, because Jesus Christ the man, it will be the visible image of the invisible God. Holy Spirit, now the invisible presence of the same God the Father in us. So we get just one divine person. And you name not Jesus. You name not Jesus. Name above all names. According to Philippians 2. Name of salvation according to Acts 4.12. Name where they bring the remission of sins according to Acts 10.43. Name where they bring life. According to John 20, 31. Name where he receive him from God the Father. He inherit him from God the Father. Hebrews 1, 4. The name where God the Father give he, he reveal him to the apostles. John 17, 6. There is one divine person and one divine name. The book of Acts show we. Acts 2, 38. Born again experience is the only experience for salvation. Now for they will they begin the Christian race. Okay, we get this text message from Evangelist Emmanuel. He talks a good evening, Pastor. Welcome back and more grace. When we obey Acts 2.38, we must stand strong till the end to be glorified. Now so, now so, God bless you, Evangelist. Because when we be justified at the point of the born-again experience, through the Christian race as we the run them, we the receive sanctification from God the Father. When Jesus go physically return, we go get glorification. Now think that way, evangelists they talk. So when we obey Acts 2.38, we don't start and start so. We get for run the race till the end for Jesus, your physical return. Okay, we get another text from Brother Sebastian. It's a good evening, man of God. I am encouraging my brethren to be earthly conscious and more heavenly minded 
For the Bible says we should set our affections on things above. Colossians 3 verse 2. Wonderful encouragement. Same may we be earth conscious but heavenly minded. Yes, we did on earth. We be conscious about the environment we would day. But our minds get for dinner on our goal. We the pass na pass for here. Our minds get for day on our goal. Now Apostle probably talks him more set our affections on things above. Jesus said, lay up treasures for yourself in heaven. This one a glorious life gospel radio FM 90.0. We did talk today about keeping your salvation and blessings from God. When God, he don't bless you with salvation and all the assurances will get them from he, the devil, he no be happy. He own case, he don't be settled. Say, he be not the king of darkness. He go be not king of hell. He want for drag we, more follow ye. He no one more we Maintain our union with God. We get evangelist Tande again. Yeah, can I, well, just for reiterate one thing. Yes, evangelist. When we the emphasize say born again, therefore according to the Bible, we are not mincing words. We not be just for the just doubt for the kind of objection. Say it may be it is like this, maybe it is like that. No, we are specific. No, be categoric. Because the Bible is very categoric. Jesus talked from John chapter 3, verse 3, for a man who was well educated in, in Israel. Yes. He says, except a man be born again. It is verily, verily I see unto you. Except a man is born again. Yes. He cannot see. And then when the man wants to reason and with the mind, that this is the friends that they try to reason Jesus with their mind, Jesus come back to verse 5, he tells you, say, except, he say, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, yes. he cannot, I want to emphasize that word, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Yes. Not with friends then, but if you listen, with the truth for listening to glorious life, maybe here once and for all. We have been discussing this things over and over. I shall see this friend where he write those texts the center for you. He did take the position of Nicodemus. Yes. If you want to reason Jesus Christ in Matthew 28, verse 19 and verse 20, if you want to reason he like how it, Nicodemus, the reason what Jesus be talk for you, you will get him wrong. Jesus be specific. You cannot enter the kingdom of God unless it's born of water and of spirit. Yes. Peter did understand very well what Jesus they mean by being born again of water and of the Spirit. Yes. And if we talk from Acts chapter 2, verse 38, what he as he said, men and brethren, what shall we do? He did the same question with this friend, and others say he he said, the same school of thought with him. They go get to us and say, how can one be born again? You only born again when you repent. When yes. Peter talked about that, he said, repent every one of you. Mm-hmm. You know, leave out anybody. They repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for yes. the remission of sins. This is a man with whom Jesus walked. This is a man whom Jesus taught. This is a man to whom Jesus gave the keys of the kingdom of heaven as he promised. Yes. Why would not he take from you? Why would we, I want to tell that friend, say, you know, understand Jesus Christ. We understand what Jesus Christ means for us from Matthew 28, 19, and 20. Yes. And now you will it will be applied in Acts chapter 2, verse 38. And now the only way that we say with emphasis that the only way that we end up to be born again and it will be a child of God. The message of tonight, it will be enough for those who don't obey John chapter 3, verse 5, and Matthew, and the, sorry, and Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Keeping your salvation. You know, when you talk about salvation, you know, first get us. You cannot keep what you have not got. So to keep your salvation, you must first of all obey Jesus Christ in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, because the Jesus you obey, no, 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 Peter, you don't obey. Correct. Correct. If you obey him like that, then you shall have salvation. Then you can follow, come and follow us in this, in this message. You can keep your salvation and the blessings shall from God 
Only when you don't become child of God, a child of God. Yes. You cannot become a child of God by the piracy way you try to pass through. So you, say you don't go join yourself self for some church. And then they don't deceive you so you be born again. And you go around quarreling with people, arguing people. You know if you argue with God. You know if you, you, know you defeat God. That is one thing. One for theory the gospel we are preaching is the gospel. The gospel of salvation. You know the, you know the, you know the incantations with the maker. Do you understand now? So yes, the incantations with the maker. Mm -hmm. So this message is for born again Christians. Yes. And I encourage my brothers and my sisters to say, maybe you know, hear with me, this pirates is the work of the talk. Mm -hmm. Now wait with the word of God tell you that you will get to take up. That's all. God cannot teach something and you your church goes and teaches something extra contrary mm -hmm. to that and you stand by what the church teaches. We stand by what the Bible teaches and what the Bible teaches is what God is teaching us. Yes. Yes. Salvation is only by obeying uh, John chapter 3 verse 5 and Acts chapter 2 verse 38. That's all. If you hurt anyone, make it go, make your own Bible. Right for this faith. Not through the other means. Thank you very much, Evangelist Tande, for that wonderful input again. The Bible tell we say the devil it did destroy, it did kill now by lies telling, it did incarnate as an angel of light, it bring in falsehood. And now wait that word the talk on the program say we get for most fight them in order to run our race very well. So we don't still get two texts them. One one for read them from uh, Ndika Emmanuel. Where he say it there for Atuakum. Ndika Emmanuel. Now your name. You talk say, so you mean everything that Jesus said is the apostles that explain it. You need to go back to Sunday school as uh, you usually tell Elder Kenneth. You are a fool as the Bible explains. You and all your evangelists are fools, as the Bible says. Now this indica a man where he said it de for tua kum so. Now he did talk so. He say, say we think say everything where Jesus be talk. Now the apostles they explain them. Indica Emmanuel. Apart from the apostles, now who now explain them? Now for this Satan don't read pig buna. When Satan moved the apostles from interpreting the word of God for us. The devil go fit in when our churches, fit in false prophets, and why that way you see people, they go to hell. But for we who call ourselves Acts 2, 38 Christians, we stand with the interpretation of the apostles. Choose whoever you want for choose and for yourself, make it interpret the teachings of Jesus for you. But for we, we don't stand on the foundation of the apostles. We stay for day. Like the early church where the Bible talks say. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine. We too we continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine. We no go shake. So you in Zika Emmanuel. Go choose your people then. But when you go stand before God. You no go talk say. You no be here. Because we don't tell you. On Glorious Life Gospel Radio. We get this text again from Brother Sebastian. Where he talks a. And I pray God. To continuously impact you with divine knowledge. Thank you for that prayer my brother. Because. For preach the gospel of the kingdom. We must encounter everything. And the devil no one time. May the truth be spoken. The God of this world. When the devil. He don't blind the minds of people. So when truth they come. The devil they oppose him. We need the wisdom and knowledge from God for be able for overcome the devil even in the preaching of the gospel. For move devil, he lies them, put them aside. Move devil, he hand from the clean and undiluted gospel where the Bible is stated and clearly for we. We thank God because for this number of years the devil don't be defeated. The truth of the gospel, it don't be Taught undiluted in Bamenda over this frequency, thousands they don't be saved. They don't obey Acts 2 38 and they be saved. Their salvation be based on the word of God and not on denominations. Yes. So we give God the glory. Thank you, Brother Sebastian. We the count on such prayer then. And we thank God for the many people where they pray for we. 
We get this text. It talks say being thoughtful and watchful as Christians is very important. Let us remember 1 Corinthians 10, 12. Very good encouragement. Even though uh, your name no day day, but we thank you for the encouragement. We get this text from Brother Roger. Brother Roger, God bless you. We'll be happy for get you on the program tonight, sir. You say, good evening, pastor. I encourage my brothers and sisters that they should make up their minds because there is no time. More grace, pastor. Thank you very much, brother Roger. Say may we make up our minds. We commit ourselves for overcome the devil by God, your grace way day on our lives. Because time in no day. Mono talk say we go wine and dine with the devil today before tomorrow we we'll turn back to God. Time no day. And the devil, when he don't grip you, he the only increase, he chain them. So that may not ever leave you. We remember yesterday, in our lesson, we'll be talk about which way Jesus be talking inside the book of Matthew. Say, when an evil spirit leaves somebody, he did go with the intention for come back. He go, ton, 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 come back and check if the place they empty. He go gather seven other wicked demons that are the self day they can't enter. Repossess the place and then the condition of the person where they be possessed them, it become worst. We not get time for spending with the devil. May we overcome ye. Apostle Paul talks, he will not be ignorant of ye devices. We will not be ignorant of Satan's devices. May we overcome ye. Na enemy to our salvation. When he give proposals, may we overcome ye. We will tell you, say, we will not live by the things of the world only. We will be committed now for please God. We get for tell the devil. Say we go worship our God and him alone. We get forbid the desires of our flesh. Put her under subjection. Because our channels say that way the devil the past day. Through our lack of self-control. But we go get self-control. We go put our bodies and their desires them on the altar of sacrifice. Because scripture talks him we give our bodies living sacrifices holy and acceptable unto God. We be our reasonable service. We did talk now about keeping our salvation and blessings where Papa God, he don't give us. Keeping our salvation and blessings. Apostle Peter, he tell we inside First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 say, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walked about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast, in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. He talks say, the devil he de move about like a roaring lion. We mean say, he want for just devour you, just destroy your relationship with God and your blessings where God, he don't pour them on you. The beautiful plan where God gave for you, the devil want for destroy him. He did move about like a roaring lion. But the Bible talks, he may will resist it steadfastly in the faith. Say may will be sober and may will be vigilant. May we resist the devil steadfastly in the faith. Say may we not say the same afflictions, the challenges they will face them, the temptations from the devil, the challenges will face them on the Christian race. Now, wait away all of us with the face arm. All of us with the face arm. But we will not get two objectives. Our only objective now for overcome sin, overcome the devil, overcome the world, and for succeed in this race. So that when Jesus is returned, may we stand before ye as a people without spots and blameless. As the Bible talk. We get this text message. He come again from Brother Roger. He said, Pastor, we thank God because the people that are insulting you are listening and to encourage you the more. Yes. They did, they did listen. And we don't play with role. God no be saying we will change him or go put up a mind next him change. 
He give with now you word to him and go preach him. Now you and God go then the settle him. And now your free will. We thank God say you don't listen and you don't get him. We get this other text where he talks say it's me again pastor. I was baptized in Presbyterian through sprinkling. Does it mean I will go to hell? I don't want to. Please help me pastor. I have done many many bad things. Ma take brother Emmanuel before I come back to this text. Hello pastor evening. Thank you brother Emmanuel and welcome to the program. Yeah, more grace. Oh. Thank you my brother. Yeah, that, that man with the way to say you be fool so you may show play with the baptism and father son and holy spirit inside bible. Correct. <laughs> more Oh, Brother Ma, he called on court, but Brother Ma don't give a wonderful question. Make it show a place in the Bible where they immerse somebody in water. They talk on top of the person, say, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hmm. Brother Samuel again on the line. Yeah, more grace, sir. Thank you, my brother. Uh, at the address, now for that man where he is, Kosh. Yes. Maybe you know, say, it's uh, Isaiah 40 verse 18, he talks, say, the grass go weed, the flower go fade away. Eh? May you not know, say, whether I worship God or he obey Acts 2 38 or not, he doesn't change God for who he is. Yes. But if he follow God, now for his own good. Yes. So my advice for him, now say, make it humble himself. He obey Acts 2 38. Mm -hmm. Cause he know he'll help. Mm -hmm. More mm -hmm. grace, Pastor. Thank you very much. A brother for that uh, wonderful point. Your reaction really add to God or subtract from God. Now for your benefit, now for your salvation. Hello, Papa Charles. Uh, Pastor, good evening. Good evening, Pa. That man where they push, you know. Yes. The college. And the thank God said that they push you because he they preach the word of God. Mm hmm You don't hear? Yes. So because that is a glad, get glad heart. And they push you because they teach the truth. Mm -hmm. So, now na, na that man and God, now they know. Mm -hmm. Continue doing your work. God bless you. With Thank the you hear. very much, sir. I hope amen that they hear. Amen. So, when they push you, so glad, my brother. Amen. I thank God. I thank God for your good night. Thank you, Papa Charles. Okay. Our sister Bidi talk say, he don't do bad things and uh, he will be sprinkled in the Presbyterian church. Say so make a put light on that. Okay. Brother Eric again a day on the line, man. Take it before I come back. Hello? Pastor Wilson. Thank you, Papa. Yes, I thank you for the encouragement. Amen. Yes. Always. Amen. And uh, I want to talk to you for that very broad way. He will go out and say, you want to say as Acts uh, chapter 2 verse 38. The only way that way, the man must pass through. Yeah, one thing say, me too, I'll be one this now way. I'll pass through Acts chapter 2 verse 38. Amen. Yeah, so now, so me, I talk so at, at this safe, I right with right, 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 my man con. Yes. Thank you very much, our brother, for that testimony. This one, a clear proof say, if you hear the word of God, you carry your negative interpretation no say people the day way they want do them as papa god he talk he, now the people that way god he delight in them and the one then that they overcome the devil by doing just wait away papa god he talk okay i turn now to our sister way he be talk say he don't do plenty bad things and he will be sprinkled in the presbyterian church Acts 2.38, he address this your situation. You don't do bad things just as all of us where we don't go through Acts 2.38 where we don't do bad things. Jesus go to the cross, he talk him very clearly. Say, he become now for sinners. He no become now for people where they feel say they be righteous. He say, he come now for call sinners to repent. He come now for give his life a ransom for we, we will be not seen beginning from Adam. So my sister, Acts 2.38, he gave three instructions. The first one I say, as you don't feel, 
say you don't do bad things, repent. Talk say, Papa God, I turn my back on top of my whole life. I no go go there again. Papa God, help me. Clean me and strengthen me with your spirit. Might be a new person. Once you don't repent, you get for be baptized as Acts 238 again in the talk in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Baptism means they may they bury you inside water, bury you inside plenty of water. No be say me they sprinkle. Presbyterian church be fool you. Sprinkling no be baptism. For baptize, it be different from sprinkling. The command in scripture na say me we baptize. The command no be na say me sprinkle. So now where you hear the word of God, go to the Bible. You go see say everybody it be be baptized. They no be be sprinkled. My sister, na truth it is save we. Receive water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. When your sins they be remitted, you become a clean vessel where Papa God, your spirit, go dwell inside of you. And Papa God, your spirit, now your presence, we go deal with you, strengthen you. That's presence of God in your life, now the assurance of salvation, now your divine protection, now your source of divine knowledge and wisdom. Obey Acts chapter 2 verse 38. We give you the word of God. Repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mo we'll read this text from Brother Celestine. It says, Good evening, Pastor, and more grace. When the Bible says the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, is to say we have to be watchful. The man that says you are lying, he should read Luke. 2445, Acts 242, and Matthew 2820. Brother Celestine did talk now say, those people where they did talk say more, no obey the apostles, they be wrong because this scripture, the way he gave them, Jesus be the talk say may we obey the apostles. And not true because now Jesus called them, equipped them, ordained them, anointed them, sent them, say may they teach we. If we put now their doctrine and practices aside, we will then take now from who? Bible talks say in the last days, people they go go gather for themselves, false preachers the way they go tell them what the way they like for here. When you put the apostles aside, you'll find your denomination. We go tell you what the way you like for here. The thing that say you go feel good, but you know go be saved. This other text again, it talks, say, I'm very sorry for that, my brother from Atuakum, who called you fool. But let him know that even a fool has something to say. More grace, Mohammed. Okay, brother Mohammed, thank you. Good evening, pastor. It's my joy to listen to this wonderful lesson again. If people under the sun will accept the word of God and be born again of water and the spirit, God by his spirit will help their infirmities and strengthen them to live above the deception of the devil. I encourage born again believers to begin serious spiritual exercise by studying the Bible, praying in righteousness, being active in evangelism, and they should not also forsake the assembly of brethren together. Spiritual exercise is a strong weapon against Satan and his agents. What a wonderful text and information way he encouraged us on this program. Say may we be involved in spiritual exercises such as prayer, studying the word of God, evangelism, fellowship. When we do these things, the devil no like him. This one, na spiritual exercise is the way that it grow us. May we strong. Thank you very much, Evangelist Caleb. Okay, this text again, it comes from Brother Roger. It's a pastor, you see. These people, if you were calling them for miracle, they could have been the first people to come. 
Thank God that you are giving them the word of God. We are blessed, Pastor. Thank you very much, Brother Roger. Even though the guy is still there for a year, it is this same text. The talk say, I'll be false prophet. <laughs> it says, so you mean all those your blind followers are candidates of heaven? Say fake antichrist. Go back to Bible school. <laughs> okay. Uh, this Indica Emmanuel, it just represents now the camp of the devil on this program this evening. That one, it confirmed the fact, say, the devil, it move around like a roaring lion. It did look for whom to devour. It did look for somebody to destroy. Now program this way, it come for encourage we for keep our salvation and blessings. But the devil makes sure say be present also on the program so that it discourage. But we thank God for every brother, every sister, where he don't call, he don't text this evening. For see me, we encourage ourselves for no say, wait away, Papa God don't do for us. Now wait away, we must keep him. The Christian race, no be meat and drink. No be thing for relax with him. Bible talks to me, we walk out our salvation with fear and trembling. We thank Papa God as if he deliver us from sin. He deliver us from sexual sins, idolatry. He deliver us from kind, kind things that we will be doing for intoxicate ourselves, drinking, smoking, going after women and so on, cheating people, embezzling. Papa God has saved us from sin. Now we be a picking them. He wash us in the blood of Jesus and he fill us with his spirit. He put a mark and his seal on us. What a glorious thing say we be reunited with our creator. He don't put us on a race. He don't put us on a race. And this race now a test for our love for God and eternal life. And brothers and sisters, wait will we talk this night on this program now say, by the strength of Jesus Christ in us, by the love we will get them for our God and salvation, we will run this race we will overcome sin. We will overcome the devil. Yes. And we go overcome the world where it be ungodly. We will not be start this race for fall along the way. We will be start this race for make it to the end. And we talk say it no be by our might nor by our power. But our God love we. We in not live we alone. He has given us equipment. And by his strength in us. We will run this race and make it unto the end in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we give you glory and honor. We thank you for blessing us with wisdom and understanding. Your presence has been here with us, O oh God, on this program. Jesus, your purpose is accomplished. Your children are strengthened. Father, we thank you for enabling us. And as we run this race in faithfulness, we will continue to be what you want us to be. We thank you because you have done it and you will continue to do it in our lives. Receive all the glory and bless your people with sound sleep this night in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.